Hello everyone. Today I am gonna talk about yield stress fluids. These fluids fall under the category of non-Newtonian fluids and exhibit shear thinning behavior. Let's look at this plot on the right hand side. This is the stress strain plot of different fluids. The straight line shows a linear relationship between stress and strain rate of Newtonian fluids such as water whose viscosity remains constant. As you can see in the diagram that the flow behavior of non-Newtonian fluids is quite different from Newtonian fluids. More specifically, let's look at these two lines. They represent the behavior of yield stress fluids. That means they have a unique characteristic of behaving as a solid material under low shear stress and liquid at high shear stress. In other words, they only yield when they are subjected to high enough shear stress that makes their characterization difficult. The interesting thing that despite being used in our daily lives ranging from cosmetics, food, medicines and other consumer products, their rheology has not been fully understood yet. However, with increasing industrial and daily life applications, they have started receiving much attention from scientific community. The common example of these fluids are toothpaste and ketchup.